Hi guys, I was gonna make this video, uh, but I just wanna make a quick video about my new robot arm. That's what I just call it. So when I left the hospital after my last crash at 32 miles per hour, 52 kilometers per hour. Um, so I woke up in the hospital a couple of hours. Basically I hit my head on the concrete and I, I blacked out and my, I think I've basically twisted my arm sort of like this on concrete when I just, you know, and I was unconscious. So I woke up uh, three hours later in the hospital. It was the worst blackout ever. I've, I've never blacked out or, you know, so basically I had a concussion. So anyway, long story short, they wanted to actually uh, make me stay another day, but I didn't have the insurance at the same hospital. And, Plus, surgery is sort of it's something you gotta like really think about if you, for a few days. You don't just decide to have it. So I ordered a sling on Amazon, which I reviewed on this channel. And it was okay, but it was still not really protecting the angles. So I bought this thing called, uh, it's a elbow immobilizer with ROM. So ROM just stands for range and motion. So basically if I, I have it locked right now at uh, 30 degrees because this way it will fuse my bones here but let's say I get better as I get better I can go ahead and increase the range so right now uh, I got it to 33 or I can set it to 30 60 this will allow me to move from 30 degrees to 60 degrees now this is a pretty cheap Chinese made gadget that I paid what 60 bucks for on Amazon but it's based on actually the $600 the the or uh, or what is it the anyway the, the the what the hospitals use but you can get this for way cheaper it's not the same thing it's but you know it works it's really light and basically this is better than a splint or a cast because with the splint um, you're going to have to put it on, wrap it around. That's what the hospital gave me. And it's, you know, you have stuff to put it on a sling. This is great because, so I basically, let's see, I want to, I don't want any movement. Go ahead and change the dial. Use these little pop-up things that you can use. Set it to 30, 30 degrees. Now my, my arm is set at 30, 30, 30 degrees. It's not going to move, especially when I sleep. So it's better than a splint, better than a cast, because as your bone fuses, you want to be able to exercise it. So this allows you to take it off, you know, if you need to go take a shower. Um, so I feel like this is like a really cheap gadget I bought, but it's saving my arm. Because now I can literally set my arm at a cer certain angle or have a range of motion. Let me give you an update. So basically my olecranon uh, bone down here, basically the, the pointy bone uh, broke into three pieces. Well, two pieces. So I don't know where they're at. And the doctors want to do a surgery now. Obviously that's, you know, that's a procedure. But I've had, you know, broken my bones before. You know, my, broke my foot, broke my finger. And last time I had surgery, it didn't heal right so they put a pin straightening it out and i had this really f effed up uh, f f finger <laughs> middle finger it was super straight and after they took the pin out it was still bent so i didn't really do uh, enough um, physical rehab so this is why this one works because you don't need surgery you could set your bone in the angle that you need to set. So right now I have olecranon. So I'm trying to push my olecranon bones. I'm sort of, sort of out towards the other broken bone. So they'll fuse together, right? Um, it's sort of an experiment and I can always get a surgery after, but I didn't want to get a surgery right now because my, my arm's still swollen up. It's been what, nine days. Um, but this robot arm, it's not called a robot arm, but uh, I'll put a link 
uh, in the description. But you can find a bunch of something similar to this with a dial. But it's great because it, it mobilizes you. It, it locks you in that angle. So now, before with the splint, I would have to... Um, I couldn't use my arm. I have to lay it down. But with this, I can totally use my arm. I can lift stuff. Um, this prevents me from overextending or over um, doing the opposite. Right? So it allows you to really actually rehab your arm while you know, your bone's connecting because you can still move it. And you can, let's say, let's say my bone started fusing, and then I can change the, the uh, angle here with this dial. Now I can have a little bit of movement. And if that goes better, then I can go ahead and go all the way to almost 90 degrees, which I can't. At almost 90, it sort of feels a little stiff. So later on, I'll do that. But right now, I'm just trying to fuse my bones. Um, so I set it at 30, 30, so it won't move. So it's sort of like a awesome uh, elbow arm split if you guys ever get an injury. And also it actually protects because it's got this two metal things. So what I might do in order for me to um, start uh, S skate again is I'll wear my jacket with the wrist pad and then I'll put this on top of my jacket because it's really long. And this will act as an additional uh, protection. So it, it's just, I don't know, I'm just like really amazed that there's stuff like this. Instead of doing a surgery, I could literally set my arm where I want the bones to fuse. Right? So if it works, I'll have a definitely a follow-up. But uh, yeah, that's what my arm looks like. The swelling's been going down. Um, but it's been almost 10 days. And my arm's been getting better every day but I get really tired because you know basically I twist the whole whole elbow and now my body's trying to obviously fix all that right and then it's all swollen up so not everywhere but it's it's just really I don't know it feels okay but I really love this highly recommend it because it allows you to do more motion without the pain because it's going to protect against those and it's going to allow you to really uh, self help, self heal your arm. So I just want to do a quick review of my robot arm. It's got these two steel plates. I mean, it's the, the dial is not super solid, but at the same time, it's going to prevent, you know, like the other night I wasn't wearing this and then suddenly I somehow my arms started having like some, almost like a seizure where get super hard and it wanted to like flex by itself because I think from the uh, bruise but so I wear this every night and this prevents me from basically hurting myself and it helps me uh, basically get the bones to basically after you break it they're going to try to grow some more bones so I'll update you guys um, that's why it's been really busy not really busy but I couldn't really you know, a couple days, but it was just really hard for me to type. It's just getting better every day. Um, yeah, I got the new skateboard build uh, that I'm working on. And this injury really made me realize to be humble. You know, I mean, I, I, was, I wasn't going too fast, but I was sort of going too fast for the road conditions because the road wasn't exactly super, you know, it... It was just like one of those regular public roads and there's cars going by and I mean I just took too much of a chance. When I could have went like 25, I would have been fine. But I pushed the limits and my board skidded and I fell and now I have a broken elbow. And I'm a good a really good boarder in terms of skateboard and um you know snowboard and stuff. So I've never really hurt myself. I don't even wear a helmet when I snowboard, but uh <clears throat> This accident made me a little bit more humble. I mean, I love going fast, so we'll see there where it leads me. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and ch check out these new wheels. So it's supposed to be way more grip than the MBS. I think that I was just using shitty wheels anyways. Um, but I'm still going to really be cautious because the next time you crash and you don't have the right equipment, 
you know, I could have been paralyzed from this accident, or I could have, because I had the knee knee pads, it saved my knee. You know, I still have, you know, pretty scratched up knees. So I gotta bandage that up with some aloe. Um, but it could have been way worse. I could be just like not even walking right now. But at least I try to, you know, have good protection equipment. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying if, if you're gonna ride, if you want to go fast on an electric skateboard, on a powerful skateboard that goes, you know, 20 miles or faster, then you absolutely gotta wear the gear. Uh, we're not talking like kitty five miles per hour, ten miles per hour. We're not talking hub hub motors. We're talking like you know belt motors, six thousand watts. So I just want you guys to know that just always stay humble. Um, always wear protective equipment: elbow pads, shoulder pads, a must. Uh, I I use chest pads. Well, the motorcycle jacket I wear has all of those pads. Even then, it still broke my elbow. So this is my, for my next build, my next ultimate ride where I'm gonna go super fast. Uh, well, I wear a good, better helmet, a motorcycle jacket helmet. And I'm gonna have protection for my elbow. Maybe add like a, like, you know, one of those steel, um, steel pieces. So, but I would not realize this until I had the accident because I've been skateboarding for over 30 years since I was like six or five and never once I broke a bone. And I've, you know, I've been always uh, pretty cautious 